So in the last chapter, we were talking about permutations, and that's the number of ways if you have n things and you want to pick r of them. And the order is important, so it's n factorial over n minus r factorial. But in this chapter, we're dealing with combinations where the order isn't important. So if the order is not important, you're going to have less ways to arrange these things, so we have to divide out by an extra r factorial. So the formulas are almost identical. So this guy has an extra little r factorial. So for number 9, for part A, they want to choose six, they have six things and they want to choose four. And the combinations would mean the order is not important. And we'll figure out how many ways there are to do that. So it's just 6 factorial over 6 minus 4 is 2 factorial times an extra 4 factorial. And so to solve this, we have 6 times 5, and then I'm going to stop it at 4 factorial so that it'll cancel out with the 4 factorial down there. And then that 2 factorial is 2 times 1. So everything on the bottom should end up canceling. The, if I take a 2 out of the bottom, and take a 2 out of the top, you're just going to be left with 3 times 5 is 15. So 15 ways to have 6 things and choose 4 of them, if you don't care about the order. Now for part B, we're taking it back to permutations, where you do care about the order. And we're just, right now we're still just plugging them into formulas, so it's just 6 factorial over 2 factorial. So 6 times 5 times 4 times 3, and I'm going to stop it at the 2 factorial to let it cancel out with the 2 factorial on the bottom. And whatever that is, when we multiply it out, 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 is 360. So you'll notice if we care about the order, there's a lot more ways to arrange things than if we don't. And this is kind of tedious computation. He's having you do a bunch of these, so I'm guessing he wants to see this work. But you can look for that button, that NCR, that NPR on your calculator, and see if it'll do it for you, because that'll save you a ton of work. So that's number nine. For 13, same thing, we're doing 10C3, so using this formula it's 10 factorial, 10 minus 3 is 7 factorial, times an extra 3 factorial. And when I go to work this out, 10 factorial is 10 times 9 times 8, I'm going to stop it at the 7 factorial so that it'll cancel out with the 7 factorial on the bottom. But I still have this 3 factorial, 3 times 2 times 1. I'm just going to cancel everything out. Everything on the bottom should cancel with something on the top. If I divide this by 3, I'll get a 1. Top by 3, I'll get a 3. If I divide by 2, I'll get 1. Divide the 8 by 2, I'll get a 4. So now just multiply that all together, and you'll get 120. And for part B, they're having you do the same thing, but 10 PR, P3. So 10 factorial over 7 factorial, with no extra 3 factorial there. So just 10 times 9 times 8. And I'm going to let the 7 factorial cancel out with the 7 factorial on the bottom. So just 10 times 9 times 8, 720. So now, it's got you doing 17. I'm just going to deal with each one of these separately. I'm going to do 9C4 first. And so I'm going to do 9 factorial over 
9 minus 4 is 5 factorial times an extra 4 factorial. This is 9 times 8 times 7 times 6. I'm going to let the 5 factorial cancel out with the 5 factorial on the bottom. But I still have the 4 factorial, so 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Everything on the top is going to cancel, everything on the bottom will cancel. So I can take, divide by 4, I'll get 1. Divide by 8 by 4, I'll get 2. I'll let this 2 cancel with that 2. I can divide by 3, I'll get a 1. Divide by 3, I'll get a 2. And so everything on the bottom is canceled. In the top I have 9 times 7 times 2. And 9 times 7 times 2 is... 126. So that's the t first part. And then they have us do 9C2. So plug it in, we have 9 factorial. 9 minus 2 is 7 factorial times an extra 2 factorial. So 9 factorial is 9 times 8. I'm going to let the 7 factorial cancel with the 7 factorial on the bottom. But I still have a 2 factorial, so that's 2 times 1. Now I'll cancel the 2. So 8 divided by 2 is 4. And that will leave me with 36. So to get our final, final answer, they want to know what 9c4 divided by 9c2 is. For 9c4, we got 126. For 9c2, we got 36. If we divide that, 126 divided by 36, we get 3.5. Let me just check that. 17, 12, yep. And they leave the answer as a mixed as an improper, sorry, in the back of the book, 3.5, 3 half is the same as 7 halves. So if you just simplified that fraction, you get 7 halves. So that's that. Sarasota City Council plans to send two of its eight members to a conference in Hawaii. How many ways can the two members be selected? So when you're looking at these problems, you always want to ask yourself first, does order matter or not? And no, it doesn't really matter what order you choose the members to send them to Hawaii. So you just have eight members and you want to choose two of them. So eight members, choose two, and you're just going to plug it into this formula. So 8 factorial over 6 factorial times 2 factorial. So 8 times 7, let the 6 factorial cancel with the 6 factorial on the bottom. 2 times 1, 6 factorials cancel. Divide by 2, I get 1. Divide by 2, I get 4. So 20. A scholarship committee has received eight applications for a $500 scholarship. The committee has decided to select three of the eight candidates for further consideration. And how many ways can the committee do so? So do you care about the order? Nope. You can select the three candidates in any order you want. So just eight candidates. You want to choose three of them. So plug it into that one, 8 factorial over 5 factorial times 3 factorial. So 8 times 7 times 6, let the 5 factorial cancel with the 5 factorial down there. 3 factorial is 3 times 2 times 1. Divide by 3, I get 1. Divide by 3, I get 2. Let the 2's cancel. 8 times 7 is 56. Uh, let's see. They 
must select 8 of 12 possible entertainers for its summer schedule. And how many ways can that be done? I don't think they care in this case about which order they perform in. They just need to select 8 entertainers out of a possible 12. So they have 12 entertainers. They want to choose 8 of them. And they don't care about the order. So that's why we're choosing combinations. Um, so we'll have 12 factorial over 4 factorial times 8 factorial. I'll do 12 times 11 times 10 times 9 times, I'll let the 8 factorial cancel out with the 8 factorial down there, but I'll still have the 4 factorial. Oops. And if I go to cancel, divide by 4, I get 3, let the 3's cancel, divide by 2, I get 5, so on the top, 11 times 5 times 9 is 495. And there are different ways to cancel these. If you were getting, if, if you were to divide that by 2 first, that's fine too, just so long as everything on the bottom ends up canceling, it'll be fine. So I'm going to stop it there.